trust me when I say that I get it. You want to be the real masculine man who is always confident in himself, is 100% secure and never doubts himself. So you act like such because you know that your brain responds to how you act. So if you physically act confident, you'll become mentally more confident. But deep, deep down, something still isn't right. You act confident, but you don't feel confident. You make little mistakes and you always find yourself beating yourself up over it. You have constant negative thoughts about yourself. Something is missing. And the missing piece that you're looking for is self-love. You have no self-love for yourself. And before you try to disagree and try to convince me and yourself otherwise, let me say this. Let's put together a hypothetical scenario and let's go back to when you were 16. And in that scenario, say your parents neglected you all your life. The only attention that they did give you was to satisfy your immediate pleasures without having any concern for your long-term pleasure, health or well-being. They fed you junk food, bought you an Xbox and let you play it instead of doing homework. They let you stay up late, never pushed you to become the best version of yourself. And they gave you the birds and the bees talk where they said it's okay to watch porn and explore yourself sexually. So putting all of that together and have it go on for 16 years, how would you end up? Of course it would be a pretty awful life situation, if not depressing. And so would you love your parents for raising you up like that? Of course you wouldn't. So if you wouldn't love your hypothetical parents for letting you do all of that, you are certainly not going to love yourself if you let yourself do all of the same things. In addition to the fact that you have control over yourself, and so the decision is in your hands to stop doing those bad habits and do something better. I personally relate nearly perfectly to that hypothetical scenario. My parents didn't really look after my long-term well-being. And although I do have love for them, I don't have much respect. Because they certainly did not set me up with a good life. And I'm not talking about a materialistic good life. Where they would buy me a car, buy me everything I want. They just didn't give me the correct information and mindset for me to have a good life or to build myself a good life. The exact problem that is present if your parents bring you up like that is the fact that they wouldn't have set you up with a good life by not taking care of your future self. And that is the exact same principle for you as an individual. Since as you get older, around 16 and on, the quality of your life becomes less and less the fault of your parents, and much more the fault of you. Because they literally took care of you so that you can grow up, become independent, and start taking care of yourself. So the answer to the question of how to develop self-love is to take care of your future self right now in the present. This is because life is a game of energy exchange because if you take yourself right now in the present moment, you have nothing besides potential energy that you can use to make something great in the future. Since the law of conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only converted from one form of energy to another. So literally by the laws of reality and physics, you cannot create something good right now, even if you really, really want to. And so it means that you have to take your potential energy that you have right now, which are all of the thoughts, ideas, and ambitions and dreams that you have, and to take all of the energy from them and put them into a vessel that will take you to get them. It's like if you're wanting to get a chicken from the shop. You cannot create a chicken out of thin air and you cannot have it right now. Only your future self can have it 30 minutes in the future. And so you would take a vessel, which is either a form of transport or yourself, and you would take the time and energy to go get the chicken so that your future self can have it. And it's the same thing with self-love. You cannot have self-love now, even if you really want to. It cannot be created out of thin air. And so you take the vessel, which is your thoughts and dreams and what you want to be like, and then put in the time and energy so that your future self can have self-love. And your current life now is the result of the energy that your past self put into you now. And so if your current life is bad or not even ideal, that is entirely your fault. Because if you had stopped the habits and taken up good habits, you would be much more content with your life because you would reap the rewards of the work that your past self put in. Things like going to the gym, meditating, reading, journaling, building up your business. Those things would have compounded a lot and you would be living as a much better man. But you instead kept playing video games, eating junk food, watching porn, wasting time and numbing your brain. Those things merely give you pleasure in the moment and have no benefit for you in the future whatsoever. Which meant that you gave those things energy in the form of attention. And they gave you back a nice feeling of dopamine for a few minutes and that was it. But good habits give back to you in a much different way. Which is in the form of mindfulness, confidence, a muscular body, intelligence and a good income stream. So you can only love yourself as much as you can love your future self right now. And giving your future self love will take the form of doing things that will increase the quality of his life. And basically just setting him up with a better life. So if you're upset that you're hungry, means that your future self an hour ago didn't get you food. And if you're tired from the night before, means that your past self didn't love his future self, which is you now, by going to sleep on time and then having that future self more energized. And anything less than having the absolute best intentions for your future self is not self-love. 
and will leave you depressed and bitter right now. And even more depressed and bitter in the future, when your future self lives the shitty life that you now set him up with. So give yourself that self-love. You know you need it.